So today it was Cal Appreciation Day. And um, it was such, it's such a good day. It was really fun. Um, as soon as I woke up, I was like, I'll throw on my poncho thing and just hit up breakfast. That was good. And then I went to Dollar Tree and got um, some pinwheels for the front yard because there was a storm and it destroyed them the other day. And um, what else did I get at Dollar Tree? I don't remember, but um, so then on my way back from Dollar Tree, I locked my keys in my car. Um, but luckily I was in my house, so it wasn't a big deal. But I was just like, it's, oh, that always sucks. But luckily I had had this happen before, so I just called USAA and they got it taken care of. And it happened, I think, from the time I called to the time it finished, it was like less than 30 minutes. It was insane how fast it was, so. Kudos to you. It was like, um, like best case scenario, just because I was already at my house. It wasn't like I had to be anywhere. So, um, so then once I got my keys, I um, mowed the front yard a little bit, um, and then I was able to put the pinwheels in. Uh, those are cute. Um, and then Christina came home for lunch, and I asked if she wanted to go to Chick Fil A, so I went to on Main Street. Then we, we took it to go because it was so busy. So then after that, we, um, yeah, we, we came back to the house and we watched Glow and we watched the last two episodes. They were so good. I, such a good show. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um, I was not expecting to be as, like, emotionally invested in the characters and, like, um, but yeah, it, um, yeah, it hit me hard, especially the past three episodes. It was just like really emotional for me. Um, but it's a really good show. Um, but yeah, I just kind of do this. Oh, so let me watch a glow. Um, and then I started to work on my face um, for one last Chick fil A run. And um, it took me quite a while, and it was like up to the last, not the last minute, but um, it stopped, they stopped serving at 7 for free food. and. We started to leave around 6.40. Uh, luckily, the Chick-fil-A we went to was closed, so it was only like a 10 minute drive, but still, it was like. All right, Chick-fil-A is in view. You can see it just across the way. We're so close. We're coming for you. Oh. And when we got there, the dude kind of didn't want to let us in, and I was worried that it was how I was dressed or looked, but then I think I realized that it was just that there was a huge line and they didn't have enough people. Um, they didn't have enough room to accommodate how many people were there. Like the line was all like through the stanchions and then all the way to the back and then like going out where, where like the doors are for the entrance. So like they were stuffed to the gills, so I get it. So we made it in. I'm glad Byron went with me uh, because it was like, it was a lot more calm and I felt a lot more safe. So this was like, I am at a Chick-fil-A in Texas, like this, so. Um, but that's also the point is because it's like, if I am doing this conversation day, I want it to be like, I am very visibly queer and like, um, I maybe I don't support, you know, obviously where Chick-fil-A stands on how they treat or um, view the LGBT community. Um, and that's why I haven't really supported them for a long time. But I only try to eat Chick-fil-A on this day because it's A, free, and B, it's a fun time. And C, I just don't want to support them outside of if it's going to be free. Um, so I think this is a really cute day. It's, I, I got a lot of uh, compliments and people were very sweet. Um, um, so yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't met with any like hostility or weirdness, but everyone was like generally pretty, um, just like happy and, uh, in a good mood. So it was like such a fun day and, um, I'm going to have to work tomorrow. I just got called in or asked if I could do or something. So, um. I'm gonna take it off a little early so that I can like make sure it's all off because this is eyeliner. I've never put this much eyeliner on my face. Like all of these black 
or eyeliner, and that's always the hardest to get off. So now I have so much of it on my face. And this is the little sheet. I don't know if I showed y'all, but like, obviously it's not a great photo, but like, I saw this, I just Googled like cow makeup, and I was looking through Google Images, and then I saw this, um, it was like a Mac um, diagram of how like some, like they did like a cow Halloween makeup, and it was really cool. And so I kind of like took um, direction from that. That was my inspiration. Um, but yeah, it was such a good day. It was so much fun. Room. I bought bubbles. That's what I bought. I bought bubbles and pinwheels at Dollar Tree. I just remembered part of it. Um, but yeah, it was such a cute day. I was really happy with... It's only Tuesday, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, it was a really cute Tuesday. But I just wanted to take a video before I watched this all off because I was like, this is pretty cool, but also like, I want to take it off right now. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's it. It was a really good day, and that's always nice. Okay, bye.